Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to this Twins Talk special episode here tonight as we are going to be talking about Irving Santana. Should he go back to the Twins? What are the Twins going to do? Uh, let's just jump into it, I guess, and talk about it. Also, make sure to follow me down in the description below on Twitter. I uh, post a bunch of stuff over there about the Twins and basically Minnesota sports, so go follow me on there. But let's jump into this very quickly. Irving Santana, he's been hurt. He was good, then he wasn't, then he was good again, and now he is a free agent, and the Twins have not signed him to a deal yet. Do you think they will? Do you think they won't? Here we go. So, Irving Santana, he was let go this year, or, or into free agency rather, and the Twins have not signed him back. Is it because he's too old now? Is it because he kind of fell off the table? He got injured last year. He had a problem with his finger and really struggled. He came back for a couple of games kind of before the All-Star break, but really never got going again. And obviously, you know, coming off an injury like that, it's going to take some time. And we didn't know where he was going to be at. And we might have rushed him back into throwing a little bit earlier. He said he was good to go, but maybe we should have, you know, held off on him a little bit. So... Here we go. Let's jump into his stats. He came into the league in 2005 with the Angels and really did well the first couple of seasons. I mean, you're talking about 12 and 8, 16 and 8 in his first two seasons. He had an ERA above 4, but you know, coming in, ERA doesn't really matter as long as you're getting wins, you're being productive for the team. Obviously, it does a little bit, but you know, you'd rather win than care about your ERA. So, his ERA is north of 4, but getting wins for his team, being productive, especially coming in as a rookie in his first two seasons. You know, he he's still pitching, you know, 133 innings, 100, 200 innings, giving up, you know, 140 hits, 181 hits in those two seasons, striking out about 100, 140. So, you know, he's doing well. Then let's just skip down a little bit. He had an all-star season in 2008 after a pretty bad season in 2007. 16-7, and 3.5 ERA. Finished 6th in the All-Star, or excuse me, Cy Young Award, uh, but was an All-Star. Skipping down to 2010, went 17-10 with a 4 ERA, 222 innings, 221 hits, and 169 strikeouts. This is a guy, again, who's pitching a lot of innings, giving up about a hit an inning, but that's okay. You know, not doing terrible, striking out a good amount. Skipping down again to some bad seasons now. 2011-2012-2013, 2012-2013, did not have 10 wins, uh, 13 losses, 10 losses, 12 losses, all in there. ERAs jump from the threes to the fives. They're all over the place, still pitching 200 innings. So not being as productive, but still doing his job, You know, getting a decent amount of wins, about 500. Then let's skip down to 2017 or Let's go to 2015 when he started with the Twins. So, 7-5 and five record on the first year of the Twins. Four ERA, pretty much exactly. 108 innings pitched, 104 hits, 50 runs, 40 earned runs, 12 home runs, 36 walks, and 82 strikeouts, not 100, 82 strikeouts. So, not maybe as productive as he was. And this guy is 32 years old now. We're, you know, we're jumping up there. And this video kind of relates back to the last one where I was talking about Buckholtz and Estrada. So these guys were free agents. I don't think Irving Santana was a free agent at this point. But you're looking at guys who are kind of getting older. Their stock is just kind of going lower. Uh, and, you know, we're gonna, we could have the opportunity to sign them. Buckholtz and Estrada I'm talking about here. So they're about the same age, and they're going to produce – but how much are they going to produce? So Irving Santana comes in 7-5, and 5, 4 ERA. Not too hot. The next season, 2016, 7-11, and 11, with a little bit better of an ERA at 3.3. 181 innings pitched, 168 hits, 149 strikeouts. He's getting a little bit better. Obviously, this was a big year for the Twins, just plummeting and not doing well. Rebuilding for... Uh, the next year in 2017 when we actually did well um but not a good year for us in 2016 and basically 
He turned it around. He turned it around in 2017. 16 and 8. Was an all star. He went uh, 33 games started. He had five complete games, and three of them were complete game shutouts. 211 innings, 177 hits, 167 strikeouts. So this guy, pretty solid. <laughs> he had a good 2017 year when we were doing well. Was an all-star himself. He was basically our ace, and we needed to ride or die on him, right? So then he gets hurt and goes into you know rehab, comes back for five games right around the all-star break right before only uh, gets the loss in one of them, 8 ERA. Obviously, we're just going to throw this season out. But now this is where you talk about, do you bring him back? So if we look at those stats over the past couple years, he's really good or he's not. Or he's good or he's not, you know? So... Do you want to risk bringing him back? The answer is no. <laughs> so the reason I say no is because I think he's too inconsistent. Obviously, you know, he could have some games like he did in 2017 where he had five complete game shutouts, or excuse me, three complete game shutouts, five complete games. He's He, he has the potential to do that, but is he going to do that at a level that I think it would be worth signing him, no. Especially coming off of an injury like that. You know, I don't know how he has developed over the last six-ish months since uh, he really came back. You know, he did well in AAA, but obviously that's a different game than the majors. And just the, the performance that we saw in the majors with him just struggling pretty much game after game, giving him lots of hits, lots of runs, and... I mean, just not being able to contend while he was out there just worries me going into signing him again. He's 36 years old now, uh, getting up there. I know Marco Estrada is 35, and like I said, I think it would be a good idea to go pick him up for very cheap if we could put him in the bullpen, and that's the same approach I'm taking with Irving Santana here. If we can get him for cheap, then I would consider taking him, working him in the bullpen, not a starter. And that's just because I don't think he will have the, the capability to go, you know, 15 wins without getting to double-digit losses. If we can put him in the bullpen and really have him work, you know, one to two innings every couple of days, I think that could be, you know, a good formula for him and he could – maybe get back to that potential but at 36 years old getting older coming off of an injury I just don't see that really happening and back to the money thing I don't see him going for very cheap I just you know I can't remember what we signed him to uh earlier in the season it was a it was a it was a bit of money though and I with the availability that's out there with Estrada, Stroman, uh, Buckholz, those three guys who we could trade for or pick up off of free agency, I just I don't see them being much better than Irving Santana, so it wouldn't make much sense to sign Irving Santana back to a bigger contract, mainly because he's coming off the injury. So that is basically my little spiel about it. But I definitely want to know what you think, especially, you know, coming off of this. He's 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 a twin, um, or he has been for the last four or five seasons. Is this a player that we can ride or die with again? Because, you know, I think we're going to be making a playoff push either this year or next year. Is it worth signing him to a pretty – Big deal when we could maybe go out and get some of these other guys for a little cheaper who haven't been injured previously or have gotten over their injuries. That is basically what I want to know because, you know, I'm a big fan of Irving Santana. I got a bobblehead of him, you know. <laughs> uh, he's not a bad player, but it's just that injury. I don't know how good he's going to come back from it and how productive he will really be unless we can get him for cheap and put him in the bullpen. 
So that is my take on it. I definitely want to know what you guys think, though. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe on this video. And uh, come back tomorrow for uh, a bunch of videos on the bullpen. And that will be a pretty exciting day because i got a bunch to say on our, our bullpen. So come back tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you then.